Hey everybody, Colnar here, and welcome back to more SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. In the last episode, we finished up downtown Bikini Bottom by getting the last ever tile that we needed by um, picking up trash for Sandy in Operation Clean Sweep, and we got the fourth Dutchman treasure, which was his wig, his dirty wig. And then we went to Chum World and got some of the letter tiles there, but we couldn't get the last one because Plankton wasn't there. And then we got a bus ticket from Larry after giving him 50 jellyfish, and now that we have succeededly got our last bus ticket to go to Goo Lagoon, we are going to go to Goo Lagoon, and we are going to beat Goo Lagoon, hopefully. But I know there's just a lot of stuff to do in Goo Lagoon. Especially one part which we're going to do last, because I believe this part is the most annoying part. Goo Lagoon, the sand, the surf, there is nothing like being at the ocean. Except being under the ocean. So yeah, welcome to Goo Lagoon. And basically, here's our to-do list. Umbrella jumping, top of the juice stand, light up the lighthouse, lighthouse shows the way, on the pier, defeat Larry in a karate match, the, to the crow's nest, and catch 30 jellyfish and collect 250 doubloons in Goo Lagoon. So yeah, we're not done catching um, jellyfish and doubloon stuff. And also, if you saw there, we're collecting sand dollars as well. Now you're probably like, why do we need to collect sand dollars? Because there's one part of this game I thought that we, I oh told yeah. you to slow down. So yeah, there's this one part where we need to collect 300 sand dollars to get a bottle to put the Dutchman back in. Why? Because, well, the Dutchman has the original bottle and we don't have it, so obviously we gotta get a new bottle. And also, a little fun fact, these lifeguards, they are annoying. Basically, anytime you run, they will try and chase you down and beat you up because you're running on the beach. know some I think I'll change out of my um, I told you to slow uh, stupid down. lifeguard so I think I'll change out of my reef blower and and uh, I think I'll change into my mermaid man costume hey no running on the beach really no running on the beach don't you mean no running at the pool You know what? I'm just gonna risk it. Nope, can I get on top of the jellyfish? On on top of the freaking juice stand. So yeah, I might as well go change into my mermaid man gear. Get off the beach, runt. Man, these guys are just ruthless. Alright, so let's go put on my Mermaid Man outfit.
and get ready for a mini boss. Excuse me, but can I sit on your lifeguard stand? Of course not. Now beat it, you little wimp. So yeah, basically all you gotta do is beat up the lifeguards. So you can get all the lifeguard stands up. And the more lifeguard stands that come up, the big, the more big the lifeguards become. And the more hits they take. And there you go. Running on the beach. I don't care if I run on the beach or not. I wonder if there's actually some real laws in some states. If you guys want to comment down below if you have laws on laws of uh, running on the beach, like if there's actually a no running on the beach law in, in your state, let me know in the comments. Now we're going to switch back to our reef blower. We're going to start reef blowing some umbrellas. I'm not gonna get there. Oh well. Okay, um I guess that's dude dude is glitched. That's pretty weird. Okay, was one of Okay, umbrella jumping is one of our things that we need to do. Uh, there's that umbrella. The umbrella letter tile. for trouble. Get off the beach, runt. Hey, there we go. Oh, 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 that was close. And there we go, we got the S in Spongebob for umbrella jumping. And I'm not gonna get on top there. Are you looking for trouble? Nah, I'm not really looking for trouble, I'm just trying to get on top of this umbrella that's being stupid.
Oh, come on! I was on there! Stupid umbrella thing. Gosh darn it! Why is this game not letting me get on the umbrella again? Frickity frick frick frick! You know what? Screw it. Screw it. I'm just gonna do the long way. Since the game just wants to frickity frick frick frick. Ah, boy. Ah, please let me go. You know what would be fun um, about this game? What if the angry video game nerd made a whole freaking video about this game? Because that'd be freaking funny. I'd, I would watch it and watch him rip this game apart. Because that's what the nerd does. Okay, I really need that dollar, that sand dollar. So yeah, basically every sand dollar you collect is ten dollars. I just need one more sand dollar because I believe the bottle we're trying to collect is three hundred. So yeah, we gotta buy a three hundred dollar bottle at the pier. Oh no 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 no! Oh, you frickety frick frack frickety frick frick! Now I gotta climb all the way back up because I can't seem the platform, and the game is ruining my life and stuff and stuff and stuff. Blah blah blah. Uh, stupid backtracking. Hey. No running on the beach! Hey! I don't care if I run on the beach. I'm on a mission to save my friends. But it seems you don't like me to- It seems they don't like me to have friends. Okay, get on top of that. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna- Carefully, carefully! Get on to the other umbrella. We did it. Hooray. Successfully. Now we're just gonna wait for this umbrella to come back around. Alright, now it's time to play the jump up game. Be careful with this one. There we go, we are a 300 sand dollar. Now, this thing, we gotta be careful. Because I gotta get on top of the juice stand! Come on, get up there, get up there, get up there! Oh my goodness! Ah ha ha ha! Yeah! I cheated the system! Woo 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 woo! Alright, let's go talk to Larry now. Gee, Larry, this place is ocean swell! Thanks again for loaning me your extra ticket. Well, 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 look what the tide washed in. It's that dude who catches jellyfish. Yep. Try to keep your distance, okay? I don't want my friends to see us talking together. Oh, sure thing, Larry. But can you tell me where you got that belt? It's got a really nifty letter tile on it. You mean my championship belt? I won this at the Goo Lagoon Tough Man Tournament. Now stop talking with me, okay? People might see us. What if I just sing to you? Then maybe no one will notice. Oh, there once were two fellows who met on the beach. One needed a belt that seemed out of reach. That's it. I'm out of here, dude. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the lighthouse. So yeah, basically we just gotta follow Larry around. So we can get that uh, letter tile on his championship belt. And he, he did something crazy just popped up into my mind. 
Larry's championship belt reminds me of the um no running on the of that one wrestling championship belt, the WCW championship belt, which was really which was um later renamed to the um WWE World Heavyweight Championship belt. So yeah, that that's kind of a little bit of a fun fact. That championship belt reminds me of the WCW Championship, as well as the uh, WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And now, since we've got, like, everything done with the uh, reef blower, we're gonna catch some jellyfish. Because why not? Are you looking for trouble? No, I'm just trying to collect jellyfish, sir. Please do not beat me up. I'm a sponge. Oh, get on there. Crap. Cannot get on there. But I can catch that jellyfish. Got that jellyfish. And I'm now down to my underwear. That sucks. I'm pretty sure I saw some health somewhere. And collect that sand dollar. Well, I've got 83% of the sand dollars collected. That's a new record for me. Come on, I had that jellyfish. Stupid jellyfish. Yeah! No running on the beach! I'm just trying to collect jellyfish, sir. Just let me do my hobby at, at peace. Alright, so we got almost half of those jellyfish. I thought I told you to slow down. And I thought I told you I'm collecting jellyfish, bro. Come on, get over here. Get over here! There we go. Just trying to scorpion my way to that jellyfish. You know Scorpion's famous catchphrase? Get over here. And look, health! And look, a jellyfish. Mine. Get off the beach, runt. Um, I will after I get this jellyfish, which should have been mine. Okay, how did that hit me? I literally... Hmm... The game... It cheats. Might as well call it Sir Cheats a lot. Hey, no running on the beach! Oh, don't worry, dude. I'm leaving the beach. Because now we're going to go to the lighthouse. There's the lighthouse.
Alright, so we're just gonna make our way to the lighthouse. Alright, just three more jellyfish. There we go, 30 jellyfish. Alright, so as you can see, the lighthouse entrance is kind of blocked off, so we got a platform. Pretty sure we had the platform. Well, there we go. Yep, here comes the platforming. There we go. Oh, and yeah, and there's Fred. You know, the My Leg guy. Basically, he lives in the lighthouse for some odd reason. You know, it's pretty crazy that Fred's an enemy in this game. They're like, okay, we need a villain for the lighthouse. What are we, what are we, what are we gonna use? How about the guy that says my leg? You mean Fred? Yeah! Alright, let's put him in the game. So yeah, Fred. He's in the game. And he, and he sadly does not say my leg. Although that would've been funny. If he did say my leg. My leg! They actually did a whole Spongebob episode on that. Basically, centering Fred's leg. Alright. So far, so good. Might as well take the health. There we go, we're going to the top of the lighthouse. To the upper, upper floor. <laughs> A lot of ups. We just need a uh, just need now ninety nine doubloons. There we go. We're on top of the lighthouse, and now the front entrance is open. Hooray! And there's Larry the Lobster. He's all the way over there. So obviously we got to go meet him. And how do we meet him? By riding these giant jellyfish, of course. So 
So, yep, just gotta take these jellyfish carefully. Jump over here. And boom, we're at Larry. You again? I already told you I'm not giving up my championship belt. Now stop asking me about it, dude. I can see that my song needs another verse. Oh, there once were two fellas who met on the beach. One needed a belt that seemed out of reach. It had a big letter that would open a treasure. But the big guy who wore it did not want to remove it. Tartar sauce. Where can I go to get away from you? Maybe I can hide at that old shipwreck. So now we have to go talk with Larry at the shipwreck to get that letter tile. So yeah, basically SpongeBob sings the song three times. Once at the juice bar, once at the lighthouse, and then once at the shipwreck. And there we go, we got the end letter tile. And now this jellyfish will take us back to um, the lighthouse. And then all we need to do is just head back out here. And head to that old shipwreck. on the beach well I don't care I beat you up now let's go talk to Larry I really mean it this time dude <coughs> no talking no singing and no way I'm taking off my tough man championship belt that's it Larry you give me no choice but to invoke my greatest singing powers prepare yourself oh there what's for two fellows who met at the beach one needed a belt that seemed out of reach it had a big letter that would open a treasure, but the big guy who wore it didn't want to remove it. So SpongeBob decided to sing a myth song. If you think I'll give up, boy, are you wrong. Okay, that's enough. You want my belt so bad, then you'll have to win it the same way I did, in the Tough Man Arena. Just climb on board when you think you're ready, tough guy. Well, I believe I'm ready. So yeah, basically, all it is is a karate match with, um, Larry. So you remember all those karate matches you did with, um... Sandy? Yeah, it's basically one of those matches. So yeah, it's basically another karate match this time with Larry. And he's pretty easy if you do the same thing you did while against uh, Sandy. And I'll show you after we get to the crow's nest. Oh boy, we almost died there. Yeesh. camera moved around here. Dang it, stupid freaking platform. There's that letter tile we need. But it's at the very top, so... Obviously, we gotta get there. There we go. 
That is the letter tile for the crow's nest. Then we're just gonna ride this zip line down here. Now we just need a couple more doubloons to collect. I think we need like 73, I'm pretty sure. And collect these doubloons. Now, time to go talk to Larry for a karate match. The rules are real simple. We get a short amount of time to bust stuff up. The person with the highest score at the end wins the belt. But I'm warning you, anything goes. Got any questions? Then let the battle begin! Whoa. So yeah, you basically gotta beat Larry in the karate match. And you can hit Larry to stop him. But be forewarned, he can actually hit you and stun you. Just like that. Thus, by the rule, anything goes. Kind of like a WWE match, if they make everything go. And sometimes he can somehow break a bunch in just one hit. So yeah, Larry, he's pretty tough if you don't know what you're doing. But if you do know, he can be easy. Just like that. You've got a lot of heart, little dude. The championship belt is yours. Time for a kelp smoothie. There we go. We got the letter tile for the championship belt. And now we can just go back up to the deck. to the deck of the ship and then all we gotta do is go get that bottle so yeah let's go get the bottle so we can bottle up the Dutchman hey no running on the beach And look, it's Rusty from hey, Jellyfish Tyler. Fields. What's with this pier? This pier handles all the shipping for Bikini Bottom. We can handle orders of any type or size. Our next shipment is going to be a huge load of magic bottles. Seems like everyone's trying to bottle up that Dutchman on account of his curse. Do you want to order one? Do you mean I can get one here? Sure, no problem at all. It costs only 300 sand dollars, tax included. Just let me know when you're ready to pay for your order. I'm ready. Oh, hold on, let me... I'd there like we go. to order that magic bottle, please. And here's the sand dollars to pay for it. Great! Your order will be on the next boat, which should arrive any time now that the lighthouse beacon is working again. I'll go open the gate. You better get on the end of the pier. You might miss the boat. So yeah, now we got a meet and greet with the ship. Get off the beach, runt. Oh, jeez. We're about to die, aren't we? Yep, we died. Great. Now, you guys better be prepared for when we get to the end of the pier. Because... Get off the beach, runt. It's about to be crazy. We just need 50 more doubloons. 
get off the beach, runt. Hey, no running on the beach. Hey, no running on the beach. It's not a beach those, for those lifeguards. It's a pier. And here we are. I hope I made it in time. Yes, I see the boat now. It's getting closer. Getting closer. Looking good. Not slowing down. But definitely getting closer. And look, the Dutchman just takes over the boat. Getting really close. Still not slowing down. Too close. Must move legs. Hurry. So yeah, now it's turning into a Crash Bandicoot video game. So you gotta basically run away from the Dutchman, who's now controlling the ship, and oh boy, almost died. Are you looking for trouble? No, but the Dutchman is, and you better run. I thought I told you to slow down. And I thought I told you guys that there's a Dutchman after us. Now the platforming can be a little bit difficult, you know, running all the way back. So just be very careful. And SpongeBob just runs away screaming. There's no reason for me to stick around here now that the pier's demolished. If only I was younger, I'd check through that wreckage for anything useful. It's back to Jellyfish Fields for me. Okay, so we have 215 doubloons. We don't have our... We're just, like, freaking... Uh, 35 doubloons away, so... Hopefully we can get the doubloons here, because now we got to go back to the pier and get that letter tiled. Now let me tell you guys something, this letter tile is pretty annoying. Because why? Well, look at it. We have to platform a lot. And thankfully, there's a lot of doubloons here, so we can obviously get the... 250 doubloons that we need. And I fell down into a pile of water and died. Okay, well, this time I'm gonna go like this. Uh, no, uh, frickety frick. Dippity dip. This is. I forgot how tough this is. Yeah, this is the toughest part of the game. If you thought... Of course, of course, we can't do anything right here. And again, I die again. So yeah, if you guys thought that this... If you, got, you guys thought that the Dutchman was the hardest part, it's this part. Why? Because you will die so many times, it's not fun. So you have to be very careful and precise with where you're landing and how you're going to land. Because, oh boy, this level is stupid. Well, this part of the level is stupid. Are you kidding me? And yep, 
you gotta start all the way back. It doesn't matter how far you got. You gotta start all the way back at the beginning of the level. Or well, the beginning of the area. No checkpoints. Nothing. This is why this game should have been, you know... Remastered. Or remade. Because remember, folks... This was made by Big Sky Interactive. And this is considered by most people, except for Watch Mojo, to be one of the worst SpongeBob games ever made. Now, I'm gonna be very careful. There we go, we finally got the doubloon letter tile. Oh no, oh no. And there's the letter tile that we need. So yeah, I know I'm going over, you know, 30 minutes on this video, but I just want to get Goolagoon over with because Goolagoon has to be my least favorite level in this game. And that's saying a lot. Okay, gonna make a risk. Nope, don't want to make the risk. Now I want to make the risk. Get over there. There we go! We got the final letter tile. And now we can go get that treasure. Oh man. Sheesh. All right. Here's the puzzle. And it's pretty easy too. And as you can see, the treasure is right by the pier. Bring it around town. Yeah, bring it around town. Now it's time for the music. But don't worry, it's gonna get interrupted by the freaking lifeguards. Trust me. And yes, the lifeguards do interrupt the um, archaeologist music. There's the treasure. So, what's our treasure for us? It's an old corset. And now it's time for that famous sound effect. God, I love that sound effect. That is freaking hilarious. So yeah, we now have five out of the seven treasures, and uh, yeah, we're basically almost done with this game. It's pretty cool. And with that, guys, I think I'll call it an episode. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching this brand new episode of SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. If you guys enjoyed it, smack a like on it, subscribe if you're new to this channel, check out my other videos I've uploaded to my channel, 
and I shall see you guys next time for more SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. So with that, I'll see you guys later.